So I'm going to be going over my picks for the top three best gaming accessories using the iPhone 14 series and really any iPhone you currently have. Now, if you're a big mobile gamer like myself, then you definitely need to have each one of these. And I actually wanted to start things off with my Anchor Power Bank because if you're going to game on your iPhone for you know hours at a time, you're probably going to lose the battery real quick. So you need to stay juiced up and you know, you don't have to have an Anchor battery pack. They're just one of the more popular brands, but you definitely should have one of these handy at all times. You know, I always keep one on me, whether it's, you know, on my desk, on my nightstand, or just really anywhere near me. Okay, then we've got our two mobile controllers of choice. Now, I've got the Backbone One here and the Turtle Beach Atom. Now, I'll start things off here with the Backbone One because it's probably the most popular controller right now for iOS users. Um, and the reason is pretty simple. You know, the controller works with basically every single game that I've tried, you know, especially on Apple Arcade um, and even some of the most popular games like, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, COD Mobile, Diablo Immortal. I mean, the list really goes on. And the cool thing is, you know, you plug your iPhone into it and it optimizes perfectly. You just have to download the Backbone One app from the App Store and you're good to go. It also will fit any current um, iPhone you have. It just extends outwards and yeah, that's it. Now, on the flip side here, we've got the Turtle Beach Atom, which is actually a little bit newer, and the design is actually pretty uh, unique. Um, the thing I like about this Turtle Beach controller is that it didn't copy anybody, so I got to give them props on that. You know, Turtle Beach has been known for their headphones for, you know, uh, gaming consoles. They also make other controllers for gaming consoles, and, you know, they're dipping their toes now into the mobile gaming accessories, and I think that you know, this controller is a big winner. Um, the way it works is it actually splits apart like this. You know, you put your iPhone into it and then you connect via Bluetooth. Very similar to the Backbone One. Um, you know, you download the app from the App Store for it and then it optimizes perfectly with really any games that you, you know, want to play with it. Now, both these controllers are $100. So you have to make the investment into, you know, getting into mobile gaming a little bit more hardcore, I would say. But, you know, when you you know, put the money into buying really either one of these accessories, honestly, it's totally worth it. You know, uh, these controllers are going to be good for years to come, uh, especially when you upgrade to a different iPhone, they're still going to work. So I just think, you know, if you're still finger tapping and you're not using a controller to play games on your phone, what are you doing? It's definitely time to make the switch. Um, now, I want to actually get into some gameplay with each one of them. I'm going to kick things off here with the Turtle Beach Atom, and then you'll see some gameplay with the Backbone One. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to learn more about either one of these controllers or even the power bank I got here, we'll have some resources below in the description. For now, let's run it.
podcast. Before we get more into this, we would like to recommend you guys check out the Ignition Poker app. If you're someone who likes to take down massive pots while sitting on the couch watching Netflix, this is hands down one of the best poker apps to try out. Now, the cool thing is they offer both free and real money games. They've also got million dollar payout tournaments to buy into all throughout the month. Ignition has also built a solid reputation for fair play, quick payouts, and of course, host some of the softest competition online. If you would like to start stacking your chips and dips, we will have some resource links below in the description for how you can get started.